Hi, I'm Seggy from Elgato, and this is 4K Pro. 4K Pro is one of the latest capture cards to join the Elgato family. 4K Pro is our very first internal HDMI 2.1 capture card, and represents the future of your capturing needs for the latest generation of consoles, dual PC setups, and more. 4K Pro is the successor to the ever-popular 4K60 Pro Mark II, and brings a lot of really exciting new upgrades that'll help take your content to the next level. Now, you might be wondering, what's with the name change? Well, simply put, with 4K Pro's new capabilities in pass-through and capture, 4K60 Pro Mark III just wouldn't do justice to how much this card can do. And 4K60 Capture, 8K Pass-Through, 4K120 Pass-Through, and more Pro Mark III just doesn't quite roll off the tongue. So we pulled a page from the social network and dropped the 60. It's cleaner. Now, before we get into all that's new, let's talk about what's the same. Like 4K60 Pro, 4K Pro is an internal PCIe capture card. It has an identical form factor that'll work in both your standard ATX desktop or smaller form factor desktops using the low profile bracket that's sold separately. It's super easy to set up with your consoles or PC and can either be used with our 4K capture utility software, OBS Studio, or basically with any other Windows software. 4K Pro features variable refresh rate just like 4K60 Pro Mark II, which I'll touch upon a little bit later. And lastly, 4K Pro can also do HDR pass-through and capture like its predecessor. Again, I'll touch upon that more later. And that's really where the similarities end, because everywhere else, 4K Pro really kicks things up a notch. So let's just dive right in. First, what is HDMI 2.1 and why is this a big deal? Well, the closest analogy that I can think of is the jump back when we went from USB 2.0 to USB 3.0, if you can remember how big of a jump in speed that was when that first happened. And essentially, like USB, HDMI transfers a bunch of data every second. And for years, the HDMI 2.0 standard has been able to transfer up to 18 gigabits per second of data. So that data bandwidth becomes your resolutions and frame rates. So HDMI 2.0 has been able to achieve a maximum of 4K 60fps HDR video, 1440p 144Hz video, etc. But with HDMI 2.1, 4K Pro can transfer up to 40 gigabits per second, meaning that the max resolution and frame rate can reach 8K 60fps HDR, 4K 240fps HDR, and more. Now, by the way, I'm going to be saying FPS a lot in this video, so I just wanted to do a quick disclaimer. Now, when you're looking for a monitor online and you see that it has a, like 144 hertz, for example, this means that its refresh rate can support 144 frames per second. So to stay consistent and hopefully to avoid confusion, I'm going to be sticking with FPS as the singular term throughout this video. So with the addition of HDMI 2.1, 4K Pro works amazingly with the latest generation of consoles like the PS5 or Xbox Series X, which can output a maximum of 4K 120 FPS. Or, if you have the most ultimate of dual PC setups, you can also play up to 8K 60fps HDR or 4K 240fps HDR using 4K Pro. So essentially, you can play these games the way that they were meant to be played while still being able to create content on YouTube or Twitch. So brass tacks, what exactly all can 4K Pro do? Well, 4K Pro can accept and pass through up to a staggering 8K resolution up to 60 FPS HDR while capturing up to 4K 60 HDR. Or pass through up to 4K resolution up to 240 FPS HDR while capturing 1080p up to 240 FPS HDR. Or pass through 1440p up to 144 FPS while capturing the same resolution. And it can do a whole lot more. Here's the full table on 4K Pro's accepted pass-through resolutions and capturing resolutions. As you can see, there are a lot of options here. But to give you an idea on just how much has changed from the previous generation, this is how 4K Pro compares to 4K60 Pro Mark II in supported resolutions and frame rates. It's absolutely bonkers. So to break down the 4K resolution and pass-throughs a bit more, essentially, like 4K60 Pro Mark II, if you want to pass through a 4K60 HDR signal, you'll capture 4K60 HDR or SDR with 4K Pro's built-in tone mapping if you prefer. If you want to pass through beyond 4K60, aka 4K120 FPS, 4K Pro will capture in 1080p at up to whichever frame rate you're passing through. Now, the resolution and pass-through capabilities of 4K Pro 
are a bit different than what 4KX can do. So to make deciding between them easier, we've created a brand new capture card selector page to help guide you along the way, complete with a resolution quiz. We've linked it in the description panel down below. Another great brand new feature 4K Pro brings is something called Auto Low Latency Mode Pass-Through. Elgato 4KX and 4K Pro are the first capture cards to feature ALLM. This feature allows 4K Pro to essentially pass through a signal sent from your PS5 or Xbox Series X to your display to switch into the lowest latency mode available, minimizing input lag and giving you the best performance when you're playing your games, which is crucial for high-paced or competitive games like first-person shooters. Lastly, like 4K60 Pro Mark II, 4K Pro features variable refresh rate. Now, VRR is a newer feature brought to video which dynamically syncs a display's refresh rate to the output of your source. In other words, your console or PC. And what this does is it eliminates screen tearing or video jitter when your console or PC isn't hitting its target FPS. In other words, if you're in a really graphically intense scene in your game and its FPS drops, you won't have an image that ends up looking like this while you're playing or in your captured recordings or streams. VRR will generally be active between 40 FPS and 120 FPS depending on which console you're using. So if your frame fluctuation stays within these bounds, you'll be covered by 4K Pro's VRR. For your reference, 4K Pro supports both HDMI Forum VRR as well as AMD FreeSync. So you'll need a monitor that supports either of these in order to use this feature. So I know that this is a more technical video than most, but that's because capture cards are our most technical products. But hopefully your main takeaway from seeing this video is that 4K Pro has made some giant strides in internal capture cards, and if you're looking for the best internal capture card to pair with your latest generation console or gaming PC, 4K Pro is the card to get. I'm really excited about the new era that 4K Pro and 4KX are going to usher in for capturing needs, and I hope you are too after learning more about them. 4K Pro is available now on Elgato.com. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed to both our Elgato YouTube channel and our Elgato Workshop channel so you can catch our latest videos and tutorials and learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.